Alright, so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called Lower City. I hated this movie. Um, I, I wanted to like it, but I just couldn't. Uh, the characters are very uninteresting. It's about two guys who fight over a prostitute in Brazil. Uh, this is the uh, third Latin movie that I've seen recently. Uh, the other two being um, Sex and Lucia and in, in La Cama. Um, Sex and Lucia was a fairly decent movie, but uh, the other two, this one and uh, In La Cama, suck. I hated this one even more than uh, In La Cama. Uh, granted, the uh, the Brazilian babe in, in this movie is uberly hot. I mean, uh, on a scale to one, uh, 1 to 10, she's an 11. I think she's doing Hollywood movies now. Um, so she's graduated from the the whole uh, Brazil scene. Um, the the things that I didn't like about this movie that I really hated were, were the uh, kind of Latin house music, I guess, uh, Brazilian house music. Uh, another thing I hated was uh, the lack of continuity. Uh, for instance, the um, She's uh, she's pretending to be sick, and she's got foam coming out of her mouth, and all of a sudden they're in uh, some kind of dance club, um, playing some lousy house music, and she's smiling and acting happy that she ripped off some dude, 150 real or whatever, uh, whatever Brazilian money is called uh, these days. Um, so that kind of irritated me. Um, I, I actually saw that part while I was having insomnia. I'm not making this up. Uh, you know, I've been drinking a lot of coffee on weekdays, working hard, and uh, and sometimes I'll just wake up in the middle of the night uh, with a caffeine rush or whatever from uh, 15 hours ago, and uh, and I'll pick up where I left off on this movie um, just because I can't sleep. <laughs> That's how bad it is. Um, another thing I didn't like about this movie, uh, there's there's really no plot involved. I mean, uh, two guys fighting over a hooker, that's highly unlikely, even in Brazil. Um, it's almost like a documentary of Brazil. I mean, um, just following these people around. Um learning about their lifestyles not very interesting I mean uh, one guy's a boxer I guess and the other guy's kinda like a, a hood um, and then there's a prostitute but um, kinda like in La Cama they're, they're talking a lot and uh, in Portuguese um, in La Cama was in, uh, was in Spanish but doesn't matter either language they're talking in. Uh, they're really not saying much uh, interesting. It's more like uh, chit chat, I guess. Um, uh, she gets pregnant in the movie, and then they, they talk about uh, aborting the fetus. Um, so you're not sure which guy got her pregnos, pregos, but um, and the ending is kind of lame. I mean, it doesn't. Uh, it's not really an ending. It's it's like um, the middle of the story, kind of like Sex and Lucia. It ends in the middle of the story, but you're kind of left. Uh, unlike Sex and Lucia, you're kind of left um, thinking, okay, why did the director stop there? Uh, there's no explanation for that. Uh, no no uh, rational. Um, editing in this film. I mean, um, kind of like uh, in La Cama, the, the camera jumps around a lot. Uh, you start getting dizzy, actually. And um, there's a lot of jump cuts. I hate that style of film making. I don't know why uh, South American directors try to be like Godard. But, and they just, they just push it uh, to the extreme. And... Um, 
So that's those are the reasons why I hated this movie. I gave it one star on Netflix. Um, even the hot Brazilian babe couldn't save this one. I mean, uh, I'm sick and tired of South American films. Um, I'm not trying to be racist or anything like that. Uh, I enjoy uh, Mexican films a lot more, like um, Wrestling Women versus the Aztec Mummy, for instance. Uh, but films coming from Brazil or Chile, uh, the two that I've seen uh, are, uh, I give two stars and one star re respectively. The Brazilian film is even worse than, than the Chilean film, so, uh, yeah, there's that, and, uh, that's about all I have to say about this movie. Uh, it's rated R, so it's not really that... Um, it's really not that great. I mean, uh, I don't know. Um, uh, another continuity, continuity issue, uh, is when she's, um, dancing at the strip club. Uh, one moment she's got, she's wearing panties, and the next moment she's putting on panties. It doesn't make sense. Uh, so there's that uh, little tidbit of sloppy editing on behalf of the director. I don't know who the director is, and eh, I, I wouldn't want to see any more of his movies after watching this. Um, so that's about it. Um, I don't think I have anything else to say about this movie. I mean. Uh, Just about uh, a couple downtrodden guys fighting over a hooker in Brazil. That pretty much sums up the plot. I didn't like it. Okay, later.